We are joined now by Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia. She's introduced a resolution in the House to expel Congresswoman Maxine Waters for comments that Waters made asking protesters and rioters to get confrontational if a guilty verdict in the Floyd trial was not reached. Congresswoman, thank you so much for the time. Hi, Rob. Thanks for having me on. Sure, yeah. So before we get to that, President Biden uh, and Maxine Waters are two of the biggest names who have weighed in on this trial, indicating that they wanted a guilty verdict, which is completely inappropriate, and they got it. And do you think there's any way, my first question, do you think there's any way the jury was not impacted by comments from Democrats and also by intimidation of violence from these left-wing groups like BLM and Antifa? Absolutely not. I, I think the jury was intimidated. You had a United States Congresswoman come to Minnesota and basically threaten there, there would be more confrontation if the jury did not deliver the verdict she wanted, which was guilty. That That is intimidation. And after the riots we've seen for the past year, burning cities, looting businesses, uh, attacking and even killing innocent people like David Dorn, attacking police officers, federal monuments and buildings, there's no way a jury would be able to deliver any guilty other than any verdict other than guilty um, after all of this intimidation. Maxine Waters stood there and said, stay in the streets, get more confrontational. That was a direct threat. And, and also she was delivering, um, basically telling the BLM army, this is what you're going to do and make sure that this guilty verdict happens. I totally agree. We watched it happen. This has been an unbelievable moment with this case and with this trial. Uh, and I think there's definitely uh, room for an appeal here. I want to get your reaction to comments that were made by House Speaker Nancy Pelosi earlier today, right after the verdict. Thank you, George Floyd, for sacrificing your life for justice. Because of you and because of thousands, millions of people around the world who came out for justice, your name will always be synonymous with justice. So thank you, George, for dying. Uh, I thought that was very bizarre. A lot of people on Twitter are noticing it's starting to go around. It's just one of the weirder things we heard today. What's your reaction? I, I think it's, I, th I find it appalling and disgusting. I just watched a white woman thank a black man for dying so that they can achieve the policies they want, which is defund the police. I find that extremely disturbing, dis you know, very disturbing. We thank our military men and women for their service to our country for defending our freedoms. Um, but this 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 man died. Uh, he he in no way went out there to die so that Democrats, BLM, Antifa, Maxine Waters, and anyone else could have their way with the uh, attacks on the police and the defund the police movement. Um, I, I'm not sure what Nancy Pelosi was trying to do there, but I find it pretty appalling and disturbing. Yeah, it's uh, it was a very bizarre statement. And again, a lot of these people making a lot of noise over this don't seem to care when countless African-American young guys are killed every weekend in major cities all across this country. But this case, they, sure, they certainly paid attention to. You did uh, actually introduce a resolution to expel Maxine Waters. Uh, it reads in part, what's more confrontational than burning cities for almost a year? This is nothing new from Maxine Waters. She has been inciting violence and terrorism for the last 29 years in regards to those comments she made. Now, most of the time, you know, you, you put a resolution up like this. A lot of the times it's just theater. It doesn't really go anywhere. What do you actually expect to happen on this one? Well, you know, you have to remember, I'm the most attacked Congresswoman uh, probably in history. I've been kicked off of my committees. The Democrats introduced a resolution to expel me, yet the Democrats can't file one single ethics charge against me because I've done nothing wrong. They just attack me because they don't like me and they don't like the fact that I won't back down. I'm also part of the 117th Congress that voted to impeach President Trump after he said, to march peacefully to the Capitol. So I introduced right. this resolution to expel Maxine Waters because she is a danger to our society. She took to the streets in a state she doesn't even live in. She gave the orders to the BLM domestic terrorist army, told them to get more confrontational, which we can't comprehend what more confrontational even means. So I introduced this resolution to expel her because I believe things need to be done differently in Congress. I believe people need to be held accountable. And I believe if a Congress can vote to impeach President Trump, 
then they certainly should be able to vote to impeach or to expel Maxine Waters. Yeah. Yeah. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy introduced a resolution to censure Waters. Again, this was mostly theater. It was defeated along party lines this afternoon. Uh, why, why are Waters' comments okay, do you think, with Democrats? But like you just said, Trump asking a crowd to peacefully and patriotically march to the Capitol is considered inciting an insurrection, yet they're okay with what Maxine Waters said. And, and I think a big part of that is that they just know how to stick together, don't they? They know how to stick together, but they also have no morals and no ethics. The rules do not apply. You see, the Democrats operate by a different playbook, and their playbook is do anything they want to do and anything possible to achieve their agenda. And I think we as Republicans in Congress, we have to stand up and we have to work harder. We have to get tough, and then we have to make sure that we're able to hold them accountable. Otherwise, what we're seeing in this nation is BLM may, in fact, be the most powerful domestic terrorist organization in this country, because as, we, as we've seen today yep. and as we've seen the past year, they're certainly able to achieve their goals, and they aren't just people in the streets. It goes all the way up into our government, like Maxine Waters, a United States Congresswoman, mm -hmm. Nancy Pelosi, who rubber-stamped everything Maxine Waters says, and perhaps to the White House with President Joe Biden himself. Yeah, no, you're right. BLM is a political organization, and they do not care about black lives. I think we all can agree on that. They, they are a political organization, and they're wielding quite a bit of power right now, and they've got Democrats wrapped around their finger. That is the truth. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene of the state of Georgia, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, Rob. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.